Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article is entitled The Great White Owl. So if you look at the picture, we can see that owls have these very large wings, very large eyes, and there's other special facts about owls. Let's take a look at today's article so we can learn more about it. Are you a fan of Harry Potter? Harry's owl is a female snowy owl named Hedwig. A snowy owl, also known as the great white owl or arctic owl, is large and white with a round head and yellow eyes. So just like we see in the picture, uh, if you've seen the Harry Potter movies or read the book, you would know that this is the same type of owl that Harry Potter has. Uh, it has three different names. It's known as three different things. It could be called a snowy owl. It can also be called the great white owl or the arctic owl. So we know that the Arctic is the area where it's the coldest near North Pole um, and that's where a lot of animals like this live because they can handle the cold weather. So these owls have very round head, as you can see, round head and yellow eyes. Okay? This bird is diurnal, diurnal, which means it is active during the day. So a lot of times we see birds like this with big eyes and we know that there are different types of owls that are active at night. Active meaning that they move around, they eat, uh, they look for different things to do during uh, the time when they're the most active. So if you're active during the daytime, you are diurnal, and the antonym if you're active at night, you are nocturnal, right? So nocturnal owls uh, are seen in the forest, but here we see diurnal uh, owls because they live in areas that's very bright. So let's see the last sentences. It says females are larger and heavier than males. Females are girls and they are larger and heavier than the boy owls. Okay? And the last sentence, these owls are found mostly in northern Canada. So northern Canada uh, is near right, the North Pole where they're the Arctic region, the coldest area. Uh, and that's where we can find a lot of these white, great white owls. So what do we know about these great white owls? They are diurnal, meaning that they are most active during the day. So they go hunting, uh, they play around, they build their nests, all these things during the daytime, which is quite different from a lot of other owls where they are active at night. So the great white owl, just like Harry Potter's, right? We can find them mostly in Canada. So it's a very beautiful, very interesting animal, the great white owl. Let's look at our questions for today. Uh, the first question, it says, a snowy owl, or the same bird, a uh, great white owl, has a what kind of head and what kind of eyes? So we know that head and eyes are the main nouns, so we need words that describe, so we need adjectives. So what kind of head and what kind of eyes? So we said it has what kind shape of head? It has a round head and what color eyes? Yellow eyes. So we have the two adjectives, round head, right? Round and yellow, uh, describing head and eyes. Let's look at B. The snowy owl is mostly found in northern where? So we know northern is describing the actual place. So we need a noun, northern Korea? No, northern Canada. So we can find these birds in the Arctic regions in northern Canada. Uh, last one, female snow owls are something and heavier than males. So we know that females are the girl owls and compared to the boy owls, they are something and heavier. So if something is heavier, that means it's most likely larger or bigger. So we know that the female snow owls are larger and heavier than the male owls. So that's probably the female great white owl because it's very big. Okay, let's look at the final set of questions. Let's check or circle the, color, uh, the colored words, the correct one. So let's look at A. The, a snowy owl is diurnal, meaning it's sleeping during the day or eating during the day or active during the day. So we said uh, diurnal or nocturnal means that you're active either in the day or in the night. So the correct word here will be active, meaning that you're moving around, you're looking for food, you're building your nest, all these different things. So uh, diurnal means active during the daytime. All right, let's look at the second question. Harry Potter snowy owl is named, were you remembering? Did you, this might be an easy question if you're a big fan of Harry Potter. Horace, Hedwig, or Hank, right? So if you remember, uh, Harry's 
owl is Hedwig, right? And the last question, the snowy owl is also called, so we know that there are three different names, but one of the other names for the snowy owl is the Arctic owl, the Pacific owl, or the Atlantic owl. So we said they live in northern Canada where it's very cold, so it's not Pacific and it's not Atlantic, so it's the Arctic owl. So we learned today about the great white owl, also known as the snowy owl or the Arctic owl. We know that they have a round head, yellow eyes, and the key for today, a new word that we learned is uh, diurnal, meaning that they're active during the day. So share this information with your friends. Next time you watch Harry Potter or you read the book, you can remember that Harry's pet Hedwig is a great white owl. So I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed today's lesson. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.